All right, this part of the chapter can be a little confusing sometimes because it seems like every problem is requiring a, a different procedure. But really, you can categorize it into three different uh, three different categories. You've either got the situation where the vertex of the angle of the is inside the circle, like it is right here, or you have it where the vertex is on the circle, like it is right here, or you have the vertex on the outside of the circle, like it is right here. So in this first case, there are two arcs that are affected by our system, right? By I've got these, these lines coming through here. And I've got two different options. So this one's A and this one's B. And so if I wanted to figure out what was the measure of, of X in here, if I'm looking for this, the solution to this piece right here, it, it says right here that I'm going to add the arcs and divide by 2. So X is just going to be A plus B divided by 2. If I move on to this one, I can see I really only have the one arc. Let's say that's arc A. But if I want to find X in this one, it's just A divided by 2. Moving on to this last case, I've got an arc out here. I can say it's A. I also have an arc in here that's B. And this one says you're going to subtract them. So if I want to find X in this case, I would say it's going to be A minus B divided by 2. And as long as you can keep those three situations straight, the problems aren't too complicated. Uh, for example, if I look at this one, I can see this is the situation where it's on. So those are the rules I'm using. It intercepts this arc right here. And so what I know is that that arc AB divided by 2 is equal to this angle, 41 degrees. Right? So it's, it's a little bit different because I, I'm given the angle. I'm trying to figure out about the arc. But it's the same relationship. The arc divided by 2 is equal to the angle. And so, you know, if I solve for this, then my arc AB is going to be equal to AD. Pretty simple. Another similar case right here. This one, I've got my vertex on the inside. So this is my in scenario. And the in scenario says that X is going to be 100 plus 85 divided by 2. And so then you're just going to have, you know, you simplify that. That's 185 divided by 2, which is 92.5. That's your value for X right here. And of course, these are vertical angles, so. This x is the same, right, on, on either side. That would be like 2.5 as well. Um, and then this is our, our third case where we've got our vertex on the outside of the circle. And this is the one where we're going to have to subtract. So I've got, these are my two arcs, A and B. And x is going to be 125 minus 30 divided by 2. Um, so this will give me... 95 over 2, and that's going to be 47.5. And that's really the gist of it. Anything else is just a matter of adjusting that to possibly more complicated situations, but it's always that same idea.